Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your beautiful host, Young Buffett, and today everything went up. The Dow Jones was up. The Qs were up. The S&P 500 was up. All I see is green on my watch list. We have things like SoFi going up 28%. We have Coinbase going up 20%. MRNA 15%, MSTR 12%, Asana 12%, Robinhood 11%, Square 11%, DKNG 9%, PayPal, AMC, Wish.com, uh, Peloton, DocuSign, Love, Even Arc, D Dog, Snow, the list goes on. So many things were green. And then we have good old Clove. Good old Clove <laughs> didn't do a thing today. So it started, it opened up at around $3.10. It worked its way all the way up to $3.24. And then it rode its way right back down and then made its way right back up and then worked its way right back down. Doing this little barcode dancey dance, working its way, barcode dancey dance, working its way all the way back down to this teal line, which is the previous open line, ending the day down 0.65, almost down a percent. Now, why is this super interesting and why are we talking about this? It looks like it had a low of $3.07. Let's see something right here. Look at this. 90 minutes ago, Clove was trading at $3.23, trading seven cents below now, even more so now, ever since this was posted. Max Payne has changed from $2.50 to $3 for Friday, August 5th according to the latest options data available. And yeah, the options data is delayed, but if we hop over here, remember Max Payne? We used to talk about this all the time. So Clove's Max Payne right now is $3, like indicated on that Reddit post. What does Max Payne mean? Real quick, in case you're new, or you're unfamiliar with the crazy amount of manipulation that happens on some stocks, especially for Clove. We've been reviewing this for like a year now. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely hit that subscribe button. But the max pain being $3 and then the stock just hovering around $3 makes so much sense that you can pretty much predict what Clove's price is going to be. And historically, as we've been tracking this, that has been the case. It fluctuates just below or just above the max pain. So max pain is the strike price or the price of the stock that it should be at an expiration date to cause the maximum amount of financial damage to people who are playing around with options. As you can see here, a lot of people have $5.50 calls for this Friday, August 5th. A lot of people have the $5 calls, the $4.50 calls, the $4 calls, three and a half, a little bit less. $3 is the least amount. Two, and, Actually, the least amount is two, two and a half, three. But then that's when the puts come in, the red. There's a little bit of puts for three, a little bit of puts for two and a half, two, one and a half, one point five. There's not that many puts because the stock has just been beaten down so much. It doesn't make sense to buy puts on this. There is more upside potential than there is downside potential unless this thing just completely craters and goes bankrupt. But the idea is they, the market makers, want all of these options that they sold you guys to expire worthless. They want the five and a halfs and the fives and the four and a halfs and the fours and the three and a halfs and the threes to expire out of the money. And if it expires out of the money, they get to collect all the premium, they get to collect, they get to keep all of their stock, and you just paid the the toll. You paid the contract price and, and you missed out. The idea is to keep the stock price around that maximum pain. And historically, if you've been following along on this channel, it has been so on the nose, on the dot whatever the expression is. And it's just been happening this way over and over and over again. So how can we play that? And something that I talked about in my last video is taking a look at the options. We have a lot of options for options. All you gotta do 
is play the game with them. Why don't you be the market maker? Taking a look at this week, Friday, August 5th, the strike price, $3, okay? We could sell a $3 put and we would want that to be out of the money. And if Clove is above $3, we get to, co we get to collect that premium, that six bucks. We could look at the, I mean, no one's buying these, but we could, we could sell a $4 call for this week. And if Clove is under $4, we collect a dollar. So it's not that lucrative here. Um, but that is because August 5th is coming up in, in a day. Uh, what you would want to do is you take a look at August 12th. You hop over to the next options chain. You got the $4. You get anywhere from four to six bucks selling the, the August 12th $4, assuming that Clove doesn't go over $4. Congratulations, you are now a market maker. You can take a look at the, you can take a look at the, the options. Let me pull up the Max Payne again. Go to the expiration right here. Click on expiration, go to August 12th. And as of right now, the max pain is two and a half. That could change, that does change, that will change, that might change. We'll see. But right now, a lot of people are buying the five and a halves, five, four and a half, four, three and a half, threes, and then not that many puts. But it looks like the maximum amount of pain will be anywhere from two and a half to three. You gotta be careful with options. You gotta be careful with earnings. You gotta be careful with the max pain. It's just a really interesting metric to take a look at. But I just want to remind you guys, you do have these tools available to you. Take a look at what options you can sell. Selling puts, like I talked about in my last video, is a great alternative to being able to collect some money as you dollar cost average into the stock if you choose to do so. Again, none of this is financial advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any type of security or investment. If you like the stock, this is just a great way to scale in. That's all I got to say. If you like my videos, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for the algorithm. And with that, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.